Hey there, Philip Nelson here with GeekBeat TV, another music product review. This time it's the Line 6 Mobile Keys 49. Join us in a sec for a quick look. When I was asked to review the uh, Line 6 Mobile Keys 49, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it because there's one huge problem. I don't know how to play piano. And how do you review a piano or a keyboard if you don't play piano? Well, that's never stopped me before. So what's cool about this device is it's full-size keys, they're velocity sensitive, and it actually is a full featured keyboard. Um, but what makes it unique is it comes with uh, all the, the, the cables you need to hook it to your iPad, your iPhone, or go in standard USB so it can be used with GarageBand or Pro Tools or any of the core MIDI apps um, on your computer. So let's take a quick look. Um, as you look at the device, if the physical device on the back you actually have a sustain and expression pedal connection. You have a USB and a mobile connection so you can pick out, you know, do you want to use this in your studio or do you want to use it um, with a mobile device. Also it's got a volume control pan, it's got a modulation and a pitch knob so that you have some cool controls there. So let's take a look at the Line 6 Mobile Keys 49 in GarageBand. Uh, as you know, GarageBand already has built-in uh, MIDI instruments so that you can use the presets here and it was as simple as plugging in the USB cable and now this is a grand piano. So the only song I actually do know how to play on piano is Axel F. So I'm going to play a little Axel F for you now. There we go. So you hear the grand piano sound and they're really nice sounds. But the cool thing is, is you know, for a device that you can sit on your lap, you can have a lot of fun with, and it's actually very handy in the recording studio if you're laying down tracks and want to lay down some MIDI instruments. But, so I've shown you GarageBand and you know, you expect it to work great, but let's jump over to the iPad. It uses a separate cable that uh, plugs into your digital port on the bottom of your iPad or iPhone. And you'll see here in GarageBand, you know, once again, um, let's go back to Grand Piano, and it's the exact same piano that I used. So in addition to working with your standard audio tools like GarageBand, I just downloaded a free app because I wanted to see what it would do, and I downloaded, I think it's called Pro Keys, and you'll see here, it works perfectly more Axel F. But, you know, the bottom line is, is it's a very portable um, 49 key, full-size keyboard um, that has some really nice features, but it's, it's very versatile, which I can use it with my computer, I can use it with any of my standard MIDI devices, or I can use it with mobile devices. So it's the Line 6 Mobile Keys 49. It retails for $230, available on the street for around $200. Um, if you like this review, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, give us some feedback, but no matter what, please subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on GeekBeat TV for some more music product reviews.